Amelia, hang on. Come back in. Finish your chocolate mochaccino. Saying things wrong, that's funny. Hey, hey. I, I'm sorry if I hijacked you in there. It's just that you didn't seem happy earlier. How are you supposed to make me feel better when you're the problem? You and him. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, 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 hey. Can I be honest? I don't know how to make you feel better, but I was kind of hoping that you might do that for your dad. I don't care about how he feels. Oh, right, well, just in case you change your mind, you should know he's devastated. Good. Now he knows how I feel. Just leave me alone. Wait, wait. Leave me, leave me. You really think he wants to hurt you? Ruin your life? Yeah. Really? And I thought you were bright. I've only ever seen him do what he believes is best for you. Now, you might not always agree with him, but guess what, Mimi? That's part of growing up. And right now, it's obvious to me that you've got a lot more growing up to do. Well, duh, I'm 11. Well, duh, that should be old enough to know when you're loved like you are. Come on. Listen to me now, right? I wish... I wish you'd have seen him when you went missing. How he was. His red eyes. Sometimes from crying, sometimes through not sleeping. Mostly both. He would have given his life to get you back. So why would he hurt you now? Come and talk to him. I've got nothing to say. OK, well then, then just sit in a room with him. He'd settle for as little as that right now. Well, you would when you're as loved as you are. Whatever. I'm not talking to him, though. Of course not. Imagine. 